Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your weekly advice readings for the week starting November 14th, 2016. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Um, thanks for being here and as always please remember these are general readings and so they're not going to apply to everyone. Um, and please also watch your Moon and Rising Sun readings because they may uh, give you additional um, information as to what's coming up for you in this week. So Aries um let's have a look your main focus or the current situation is the three of clubs and so with the three of clubs um for some of you you're really focusing on expanding expanding your business expanding your uh, creative projects taking them to the next level for those of you this feels like sending out resumes and um, starting to hear back already getting a very quick response immediate feedback type of thing the three of clubs can also represent traveling um, a short trip, um, I feel mostly for business, but it can also be something uh, for fun as well, just to try something different, just to go someplace you haven't uh, gone to before. The Three of Clubs can also represent uh, making plans. Uh, so either you're making plans, I don't know, for the holidays for some of you, or you're making plans uh, for next year, or you're making plans... Um, kind of setting I feel like for some of you maybe already thinking about 2017 and what's uh, you know the, the main events you're gonna have to look um, into or, or take into account in the year this could be planning as well so I don't know if um, you're planning uh, your tasks your projects your work uh, you're putting together your schedule uh, you're planning the Christmas party the office Christmas party or the, or the Christmas party at home or some big event with the family but this is definitely talking about communication going back and forth some travel time good news in terms of business in terms of career in terms of applying for jobs and that type of thing and more to follow your main opportunity in the week is the King of Cups so with the King of Cups as your main opportunity um, this could be a water sign, a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Um, and the main opportunity would be um, for this person to offer you a job for some of you. Especially if you're going for jobs to do with um, support, therapy, um, counseling, working with other people, guiding other people, teaching, uh, training, that, that sort of thing, okay, with the King of Cups, or any other form of... Um, healing in the in the healing uh, industry if we can call it that uh, could be coming up for you uh, in terms of main opportunity the king of cups can also be someone you you partner up with okay to further your business to further your career uh, this could be a father figure so maybe some of you are traveling to see family or traveling to see this father figure um, and you have the opportunity for some closure or you have the opportunity to make peace or you have the opportunity to um, make up or catch up I feel for some of you uh, with this King of Cups person um, The King of Cups is also um, it could be a love opportunity for some of you someone stepping forward and, and telling you how they feel about you It could be that maybe you've been waiting to be reunited with this person for some of you and um, Here they are. This is the week when they finally get to come in or you travel to see them and there's a reunion happening there and you could plan the future of the relationship or, or your connection, okay? It could be something like that for some of you. Um, further, what I'm picking up on with this is also um, the opportunity to talk about family, to the opportunity to start a family, or the opportunity to, to plan what you want to do in terms of uh, relationships, marriages, um, and family. Your main challenge in the week is the Emperor. And the Emperor is a major arcana card. It is your energy. So for some of you, uh, the main challenge, you know, it's nothing significant, nothing serious. It's just saying try to um, be easygoing and to be patient because I feel like uh, with the emperor and the main challenge position, it could be that for some of you, you just want to get things done and you have your own ideas and you have your own schedule and you just want things to go according to plan, according to how you think they should go. Um, and the challenge would be you have to work with other people or you depend on other people as well. Um, and so it can't, you can't boss these people around, okay, so to speak. And I feel like it's just a reminder, uh, something to just keep in the back of your head, you know, in terms of um, um, watching 
uh, your temper because I feel like at times people may look uh, look at you this week and think you're being bossy or think that you're trying to control them and, uh, and that actually may not be the case at all but it's just saying be mindful that some people may see you that way um, the Emperor can also represent um, some I feel some things that have already been planned that have already been scheduled that you cannot work around that you cannot avoid or reschedule and so for some of you uh, the main challenge is going to be to plan around those things to try to um, keep those commitments and make your plans as well make your personal pl plans as well the emperor can also represent um, a boss a figure of authority you're working with and maybe this person is, is telling you you know what you're gonna have to travel this week and you didn't really plan for that and maybe it's taking you away from family or it's taking you away from your own little plans um, but this is someone who it's pretty much it is what it is you can't negotiate with them okay they're very uh, driven they're very focused and uh, they want things done a certain way and they want you to travel okay or they want you to take initiative or they want you to step up um, and take over a project or a task this week and that's not necessarily a bad thing but I feel some hesitation uh, because it's coming from out of the blue and you don't really have time to think about it um, and some hesitation because you kind of already had plans and you have to cancel your own personal plans because of whatever this is going on in your work sector it can be in family as well where someone just really needs you to do something for them and you just kind of have to put other plans aside and really kind of just be there for this person and the emperor can also represent um, rules regulations uh, things that are very strict okay and you could be dealing with um, some people who are kind of rigid who can't be creative let's say and um and how they follow the, the rules it needs to be this way and this way and this way and you can't really work around it okay uh or some people who um are kind of impossible to work with i feel maybe coming up for some of you and again if this is the case try to be patient and a diplomat and i feel like you're gonna be okay uh the advice for you this week is the five of clubs and with the five of clubs as advice uh, for some of you, this is saying multitask. For some of you, you're going to have to split yourself uh, a lot of different ways, wear a lot of different hats um, in order to go through the week successfully and accomplish what you have set out to accomplish. The Five of Clubs is also a card that says don't let other people get under your skin. Uh, people may challenge you or people may uh, um, say things that you don't necessarily agree with this week, but that's not necessarily a bad thing because the five of clubs represents the constructive criticism or the the constructive type of challenging uh, where you know someone challenges you and as a result you grow from that experience because it opens you up to trying things a whole different way that normally you wouldn't have gone for um, and so it feels like that kind of a energy with this five of clubs and so it's just saying um, whatever you're dealing with this week try to keep the ball rolling try to um, see opportunity try to not get stuck try to not become the rigid one in terms of you know I just I know what I know and I'm just gonna stick to that allow yourself to really step outside your comfort zone this week okay with the five of clubs um, and the five of clubs also says delegate work with other people if you have a lot going on talk to someone and ask for support ask for help ask for guidance um, because they will help you it's there for you okay the support is there for you and definitely this is saying get going get moving okay so it can be like i say you know split focus where you have to do a lot of different things at the same time so you have to multitask or you have to delegate but it can also be um you know physically getting moving in terms of starting a, a workout program or uh, looking at your diet looking at your exercise um, schedule um, and then it could be that for some of you that's what you need to overlook this week and you just really don't want to do that because um, it's important to you and so they're just saying there's a way for you to be able to do everything that you want to do if you don't get stuck in the rut routine or if you don't get stuck trying to um, keep everything together a certain way let it grow and try to grow with it and in the outcome position we have the page of cups 
And so with the Page of Cups, for some of you, it can represent good news about a child or good news about a pregnancy, if that's what you're going for this week. Um, the Page of Cups represents just good news, good news that makes you very, very happy. So the Page of Cups can represent uh, good news from this Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, because it can be from a water sign. Uh, so that would be in a love sense. It can be, you know, hearing everything that you always wanted to hear. Um, it could be good news in terms of business, in terms of career. Uh, you know, like the boss saying, you know what, I'm really, really impressed with what you're doing. And as a result, I want to offer you a better position or I want to offer you additional um, responsibilities that come with additional benefits or something to that effect. Because this is definitely talking about career progress. Uh, good news in terms of if you're looking for a job could definitely be coming up for some of you. Um, and I feel like with the Page of Cups, this is also, it feels like a new way of doing things. So it comes in as new energy uh, that gets you very, very excited and um, kind of feels, makes makes you feel less burdened or less pinned down to a certain type of rules or a certain way of doing things, okay? So it opens up a whole new world for you. Uh, so overall, it looks like a really uh, good week. Let me know uh, how the cards make sense for you and how the week is going. I hope that you have a really great week and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.